everyone, welcome to AMA. I am Stephanie and with me in the studio is... Clyde. Clyde, how are you? Good Steph, how are you? Very well. So, it was Australian Day a few days ago. How did you celebrate it? Well, um, it was a good day for me. Um, you know, a day off uh, from work. Mm -hmm. And um, a day for a barbecue. Uh, you know, like good Australian, uh, you know, you are... Uh, have a barbecue, go to the beach, or have a beer for those <laughs> who drink, or whatever you do that uh, is Australian. But it was a good day. It was, was a good it? day, yes. yes. In Australian day means, Australia actually means different things to different people. You know, considering the fact that you've been here for quite some time now. Well, uh, I've been in Australia for, for quite long now, 14 yeah. years. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so, well, what, does, what does Australian day mean to you? Well, I guess Australia day. As it's been said uh, in a variety of contexts, uh, it gives an opportunity to all Australians uh, to uh, reflect on what it means to be Australian. Uh, so for people like me and many others uh, in our African communities and beyond who have come to Australia, I've chosen Australia as a second home. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it, it's a day to reflect on uh, exactly uh, the fact that uh, we're here. We've call, we call Australia home. We got our families here. We you know, we think of um, um, our future in Australia, so the multicultural nature of uh, Australia is a welcoming country that gives a lot of opportunities to uh, uh, people from um, a migrant uh, background like, like us. So, you know, a variety of things that are all put together. I think I, I really like, I love Australia. Um, the fact that it's extended its hand to people from different ethnic backgrounds, you know, mm -hmm. it's not that discriminatory as to where to which country to accept and yes. you know, I yes. think it's a great thing. What do you think do you think um this Australian day has any relevance to all those people from different ethnic backgrounds? Well well I I, I do, yes. Uh, you see a lot of uh, people celebrating. Yeah. Uh, but I guess uh, beyond the celebration um I'm sure uh, you know many people um, think of uh you know what it means to uh, be an Australian or to live in Australia and um, we look at um, how we belong to this country uh, yeah. and, and and for me that that's that's the most important thing obviously you know I, I agree with you Australia is a wonderful country um, I come from the Democratic Republic of the Congo uh, there's been more than enough uh, issues in the yeah. uh, in, in the Congo but I still love the Congo and, and maybe even some someday return to the Congo but uh, I've fallen in love with Australia Sorry. as my second uh, country and uh, I've got two kids they're all born here so have they have Australia. this doing the how you go in mind and all that <laughs> yeah, they do have it. they picked up the lingo from <laughs> and, and I tell you a funny story I told them one day that um, uh, they uh, they were Congolese <laughs> and they told me that you are cool. are cool. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite funny though because all these kids they try to separate themselves from where their parents are kind of from yeah like yeah. i remember my parents saying the same thing to me yeah. um she's a nigerian fam from nigeria she was telling her son hey you know you're nigerian you have to start speaking the local language which is Igbo. yes he turns around and tells the mom i'm sorry mom i'm not nigerian i'm australian you are nigerian and you should start speaking Igbo." like what's exactly going? What's going? and then that's the story We have built AMA as a platform for everyone. We want you to run your own segment about your own area of interest on AMA. If you have a business, a talent, or an idea, AMA is ready to work with you. This year, let us make AMA the biggest and the most influential media platform for Africans and for friends of Africans. So if you can, invite us to your community events. We have built a platform for you and we want you to use it. You can run your own segments in any area of your interest as long as it brings value to the African Australians here in Australia. Do you have ideas and talents you want everyone to see? African Media Australia is here for you. We're happy to promote those videos of yours. We're happy to promote your businesses. We're happy to promote those ideas that are inside of you. AMA is for you. Please
please contact us, African Media Australia. AMA is here for you and we're here to stay. Thank you. Bye. The thing is, what, what do you think? Being Australian is really good. Being in this country is good. What, what are the challenges personally have you faced um, during this um, transition period for you? How, what, what has it been like? Well, for me, it was relatively easy. When I came to Australia uh, in 1999, um, I was in university educated. Uh, my level of English was uh, very good. So uh, um, I kind of, uh, it only took me about a month or two to get a job. So I quickly got into a job and things went really, really smoothly. I had no, no issue, but I led the Congolese community for a number of years and I know that things are not always as easy as that. Many members of my own community in the experience that, that I've had have had it uh, quite tough. Yeah. Those who have very poor English uh, proficiency, low education, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, they've also been displaced because I came to Australia as a, uh, on, a, on a tourist visa. Some have come from sort of a, a, a refugee background. Others have come as skilled migrants yeah. or students like yourself, you know. <laughs> so we all come from different um, experience, but um, it was relatively easy for me. But I guess for many others, it has not been easy. Yeah. And uh, the transition has been challenging and it continues to be challenging. So when you look at this issue, we need to look at the broader uh, aspect. Uh, there are a number of challenges, uh, including, you know, I, I think the language starts uh, yeah. everything because if, if you can communicate well, it will make a lot of things easier. Easy. Yeah, and then yeah, the, the education, because, you know, in Australia for you to be employed, you don't have to have a university education, but some you know, some level of either education or some training or or, or some sort of um, uh, vocational, yeah. um, you know, um, job, or, um, you know, people come here with no skills. Do you ever find that divide between which area to sort of lean towards to more or do you think you are best you best to that in both worlds? Well, for me personally, I can I can only talk uh, uh, for myself. Uh, it's it's not really a big issue because I know uh, I will not never cease being Congolese mm -hmm. and uh, and and I've embraced Australia. You see, <laughs> good way, good way. <laughs> so I I can juggle with those two things. Yeah. Uh, at times it, it is challenging, especially when it comes to, uh, for instance, uh, educating children. because yeah. I want I want them to have some level of uh, Congolese cultural background, which doesn't always fall in line with the Australian cultural yeah. expectations. So the, 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 there is a bit of a challenge there. But for myself, uh, and even like in my, you know, sort of my relationship with my wife, for instance, there are um, things that, you know, we would, that they come, come from our cultural expectations as Congolese, which are different from, you know, the Australian context. Yeah. So yeah. it gets a little challenging. I won't get into the details, but <laughs> you know, you're, st you're trying to juggle with all those, well, those yeah. things. And, and the more educated you are, I guess, the the easier it is. You reckon? I think so. Because uh, you, you can... And I guess also it, it depends on your level of emotional intelligence. Yeah. And I think more than education, but emotional intelligence, how you juggle with these things uh, is uh, what will... Because uh, I, 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 met, I met a father who has been here in Australia for quite some time now. He's got, I think, three or four kids. Um, I was having a chat with him about things, something like this as well. What he yeah. told me was, because it's too difficult to bring both worlds together, I'm just going to lean towards one world. So what he does is just let his kids do whatever they want within the Australian cultural belief, and he just forget about the other one. I don't think, uh, to, to, be, to, to be honest, personally, I wouldn't, uh, I don't think that's necessarily the right way. It's because that's pretty much getting into assimilation. And even you know, on, on yeah. the, the government doesn't want people to assimilate. To, to yeah, assimilate. Yeah. You know, they, they they still want to keep some part of their, yeah. their, their culture. I do agree though that the uh, balancing of these two things is not an easy thing. Yeah. So some people just give give up. Uh, but others, uh, like myself, I've come to. You need to take the the best of the two cultures. Yes. And uh, I know it's not. It may be easier said than done, but focus on, on, on the main, you know, tenets of the Congolese African culture and the main tenet of the Australian culture and trying to give the kids both worlds as much as possible. But we have to agree, it's not easy. It's mm -hmm. not easy. Children, especially children here, when they go to school, they get everything about, uh, you know, Australia. Yeah. We with their mates, it's all Australia. When they come home, 
if you want, if you, you know, that you want them to learn the, your African uh, cultural roots. It becomes uh, very alien, <laughs> such an alien yes, culture for uh, them. Yes, it's not I, easy. It's not like that. I can, I can imagine how it feels. It's good to be in this country. It's got so yeah. much opportunities, um, especially if you go out there to search for them. I think good things will flood your way and then, yeah. I do agree. There's so much opportunity, but we also have to remember that there are still a lot of challenges for communities yeah. su such as ours, Africans. People are still falling through the cracks. Yeah. Uh, so it is still important to continue to look at the issues that are affecting uh, the way people uh, live here, their prosperity, their welfare. Uh, you know, it, it is important, for instance, in the African community, there are still a lot of, uh, there's still the level of unemployment is still quite high. Right. That still needs to be looked at. The government st should still do more, both on state and, and federal uh, level. They are, they are doing, the, they are trying their best, but I still think there's more that needs to be done I in that area. Uh, with this African thing, I think, I think we, 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 Africans need to come together and sort of table, you know, their, their plight to the government. Because what, what I've noticed is happening now is because we're too scattered, we're too everywhere, it's quite difficult to get those funds to the right yeah, channel. Exactly. I think there's, there's a forum, the African Forum. How's that going? Have you? Well, uh, we, we, we will be organizing. This gives us an opportunity to uh, tell our audience yeah. that we will be organizing throughout this year a number of uh, forums yeah. uh, specifically designed to uh, get Africans together to build a platform where we can work. We don't have to belong to the same organization. Mm -hmm. We don't need to belong to the same uh, group. In fact, we are, we are a separate group. There's a lot of diversity within Africans, mm. but uh, the maturity of Africans will be demonstrated when we can come together when it, when it matters to address issues that affect all of us, yeah. because most uh, Australians view all of us from Africa as just it's one just so Africans, yeah. not Congolese, not Ethiop Ethiopian, not Somali. We all just want. So yeah. we should, on the big issues, work, work together uh, and still keep our own uh, r respective uh, groups or, or organizations, but it is critical if we want to make progress for this community that we look at uh, how we can work together. And these forums that we, we, we're going to be organizing will uh, look at uh, trying to make that possible. I think that's why EMS too is important because Absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's a channel through which people can come, you know, air their views out there. I don't think there's anything like this in the whole of Australia. Here at AMA in this year, 2013, we want to focus on connecting with our communities. We've built AMA as a platform to enable Africans to showcase whatever that is important in, in their lives. So we want people to come and pretty much use, use us, use, yeah. use AMA. If, if you have you know, uh, ideas, you have projects, you have talent, whatever, you know, it, we should be in the front line for the prosperity and welfare of uh, our communities, us first and then the rest of Australia will help us towards that journey. Because we need to properly tell people what we want, yes. else they give you what they think you need. Exactly. If you're not able to tell them, this is what I want, it's gonna be then hard. You, you get anything. Yeah, you get anything. We'll be talking about Australian Day. Are you excited to be an Australian? Are you happy to be Aussie? Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Send us messages on Facebook, That's because right. we're gonna be talking about this. This is quite a big, area to talk about we probably yes. won't be able to finish it right now yeah. but if you're new if, you, if you've just become australian just a few days ago we know. want to hear how you feel you mm. know how you feel to be aussie just gonna leave it here right now but ama is for you we're here for you anytime anywhere um we're beginning to do community shows and community things whatever you want to share with the wider australians we are going to be a mouthpiece just come use us um for now, it is going to be bye-bye, and I'll see if Clyde has anything for you out there. No, you've said it all. Um, AMA is for all Africans and all friends of Africans. And, you know, we the shop is open. Business, <laughs> We open for business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good business for the community. Yeah. So thank you very much. Please share your experience with us. Please like us on Facebook. It's African Media Australia. You can check us out on Google as well and on Twitter. You have to follow us. Make AMA the best platform for African views to be shared out there. For now, it is going to be bye-bye for real, and I shall see you soon. Ciao.